believe we should be up and running. How's it going, everyone? Happy Friday. Let's see. Yep, we are A-OK. -okay. How's it going? I am very happy it's the weekend. And we'll be getting started momentarily here, of course. Got to send out the links as per usual. Do, 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 do. Do, do. I'm very much looking forward to finishing up Mario Galaxy. It's weird because, like, we've technically played three games, but it's been, like, barely over a month, I think, since we actually uh, started. Ba -ba. All right. So today, we are indeed at Galaxy's End here. We are, well, it'll be the center of the universe, but this will be the last stream probably for Mario 3D All-Stars. Um, it's definitely been cool playing these games one after another because that's not how I experienced them. I definitely started off with the Galaxy games I'm pretty sure, from what I remember. And then I probably did 64, then Sunshine. Um, it was definitely kind of cool to see how they progress and change from each iteration when you play like this. So, of course, you know, for anyone who's uh, undecided if they want to get the game, I mean, if you've played the games before, it's a maybe, but, you know, if you're new or you haven't experienced these games, I think this is pretty good, especially since you can play on the go with your Switch. Definitely seems like a good move there. Um, speaking of limited releases, they uh, were talking about the Fire Emblem. Uh, Fire Emblem 1 release, which that could be, you know... I'll be honest, I don't think I am going to get it. But it's still something that, I mean, it just kind of affirms that Nintendo's doing this trend of, like, limited release stuff. And honestly, I think for, like, next year with Zelda, I don't know. If it's not Breath of the Wild 2 stuff, they're gonna, like, re-release all the big hits on Switch or something like this game did, you know? Um, which, honestly, I'd be pretty fine with. Um, kind of curious just to see what they're going to do for that. Princess Peach! All the one-ups. Yes. I would like them that. Um, because that's like the big name, of course. You know, Mario and Zelda, and they've done a lot for Mario this year. I mean, with this and, you know, they have the Mario Kart thing. They've got, ooh, there's a cosmic race in the upper area. Uh, what was I saying? So I'm kind of expecting some sort of limited release thing for Zelda next year. And again, I, I can't imagine Fire Emblem 1 aged well. Um, if it was like one of the games that has like never been released before, like, uh, you know, Sigurd's game or something like that, I mean, those are like Roy's game. Those would be pretty dang cool to uh, experience, but I just don't have that kind of... Uh, connection with like the very first game I don't think but with that it also makes me kind of worry about um you know with Fire Emblem they did uh Echoes for Valentia 
but they also, I mean, if they're doing this now, it's like, okay, well, when can we expect a new Valentia, or not a Valentia, but uh, a new Echoes game, or if that's even a trend that they're going to do. I always have to, like, remember the controls. Why wouldn't you go there, bro? Where's he going? But it's still, it's nice that they're doing these limited release things. It just doesn't make sense, like... If you're gonna do, like, limited physical releases, sure, you know, whatever. Do I agree with that entirely? No, but... Wait, what? Did I miss something? Where's the... the star? Hold on. Okay, so I need to get out... Wherever that is. I think I just <laughs> straight up passed it. I was going in a big loop again. Uh, okay, so it's after... I don't know. Okay, so it's not here. It's not here. It's it's there. There's that tower. Okay. So I messed up by going the wrong way before. What does his voice sound like? His voice sounds like another character or something weird. Um, can't think of it off the top of my head. Whoa! Well, it doesn't make sense for the uh, limited release stuff. It's like, okay, physical release, sure, you can do limited. Why would you do a limited digital release? That doesn't make any sense for a game like this. Or for Fire Emblem, or again, I'm almost positive they're going to do something like this for Zelda next year. Ooh. Also, it's Friday, boys. Crack open a cold one. Cheers. I do not remember this one at all. I feel like they always do the water ones as kind of like one-shots. Is this just a boss fight? Oh, looks like it. What the heck? Huh. I really have no recollection of this, but it looks pretty rad. How do I throw it again? Oh lordy, he angy. Uh oh. We got the bone drones. That ain't good. Water physics. Music's so dramatic. What? It missed? Dude. Okay, we gotta get these red ones. The red ones are broken. The red ones just hone on to him. Oh. What? Am I dumb? Don't answer that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, where is the shells again? I gotta let it rip quite yet. Uh, oh! Okay. Is it just three? Nope. We got quite a bit more. Oh, he's extra cracked now. We got some air. Oh, he's schmoving too. Oh no, my shell broke. That is the worst part. Okay. Um. Ow. Stop. Mario. Go. Looks like he was just overhead. Yep. Shit, that guy blocked him. Bro. These guys are so annoying. Okay, he's over here. Okay, hang on. I need a clear shot. Thought that was a decent shot, but it was too low. I think that's it. Yes! Just caught him at the tail there. These one-off worlds are so cool. Where's the star? Aha. I'm glad that they're mostly like the water ones because if I had to do more levels underwater, I wouldn't be happy. <laughs> yeah. ba -ba 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 -ba. Galaxy complete. Alright, what I'll do is I'll do one in the toy world, because I haven't done that yet. And I remember this is where we get Spring Mario. For some reason, I think he's only in this galaxy. I'm not sure why. But I mean, I guess the Boo is also pretty limited. I think the Bee is the only one that Gets multiple usage, but this world is a banger. Yes. Captain Toad, all aboard the hype train! Ooh. For the bits. Give me all the bits. Mecha Koopas. Why are you fretting? We gotta go over there. Oh, huh, interesting. Oh, actually I can go down this way. This world is designed super cool. So the pink stuff makes you go like this. Uh, oh, <laughs> didn't quite Hit the mark there. You know, it happens. So wait, how do I get over there? Uh, 
Oh, I see. There's like... Ow. Bro. I see. So now I have to backtrack. I figured it out. This is also the one game that looks particularly good in HD out of the bunch. I mean, I know it's just, it's high resolution, but like, Sunshine didn't quite look as clean as this. Obviously because, you know, this game came out later. It would have been really nice if they like, actually remade these games. Kind of like the Spyro Trilogy did. Oh, here we go. Spring Mario, baby. It's so weird, and I know this one's in Galaxy 2 also. Done trying to get those ones. I can't shift the camera at all. Oh. Oh. can't be in the... Well, I don't think you can be in any power-up when you're charged up like that. I don't remember if you can ground pound while being the spring. Oh, you can Ah, we're learning. We're remembering. It's a giant Bowser. <laughs> so cool. Cannot stress how much I love this game. Do, do, do. <clears throat> oh, looks like there's a Mecha Koopa there. Easy. Oh, so now we have to go in its arm, it looks like. Oh, I see. Why is there a bat here? Why are there multiple bats here? Oh man, we just destroyed its arm. Straight out of the socket. You're no match, Bowser. Avoid that guy. 
I guess I just gotta be quicker? Oh, that's really bad. How does he get me there every time? Okay. I'm gonna have to play it safe and somehow... Yeah, he's like watching perfectly there. I wonder if I can go up. That ain't good. I have no idea where I am. I don't know how I survived that. Alright. Oh, we did it! Off of the one life, baby. Easy. Oh, <laughs> perfectly landed on it. Easy. Do 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 do. All right. Time. We'll uh we'll fight Bao Zhao for the last time. And then there's Melty Molten in the last uh room, from what I remember. There's Melty Molten. I can't remember what the other ones were. King Caliente. So spicy. Alright. Okay, so I gotta go which way? Easy peasy. You got the speed run going on here. Oh. So those platforms, you can't really hang out on them. Bow Joe. <laughs> My dad's gonna be angry. Just bringing him back. He does look extra spicy now. Oh, shit. Alright, one down pretty easily. Oh, God. These guys suck. Shit. You only get a couple opportunities. Shit. They keep spawning. Bruh. Oh, okay, that one only took two, so the next one's gonna be probably like three or four. That's my guess. Oh, 
Oh! So now do I have to fight Bowser Jr.? No? Dang. I thought I actually had to fight him. Easy peasy. Wee. Yeah, we'll do a couple more galaxies. Um, we'll explore a few since, yeah, this will definitely be a shorter stream today. Just kind of wanted to wrap things up here because I don't know if I'm going to start it next week, but I kind of wanted to start a new playthrough for November. And realistically, the game I have in mind is probably going to take us... Uh, through the end of the year, would be my guess. It could take a little less, but we shall see. Kind of uh, got it all planned out. All the new galaxies. So many grand stars. Always help, Rosalina. So, we gotta go back up. So I think, yeah, we've unlocked the final level of the Common Observatory. Go over this way now, which I forget. Is this where we get the flying cap? I think this is where we get it, from what I remember. Or do you need a certain number of stars? Let's see, what does she want from us? Mm -hmm. Rosalina's so cool. Yep, we get the flying. Oh god, the purple coins, baby. Oh lordy. That's such a cool look for Mario. Why isn't this in like all the other games? I'm so bad at it. I hate flying. Flying is for droids. Okay. So I think that's the last one up here. So now we're gonna get purple coin levels for every single world, probably. I kind of forgot this is how it worked. Is there anything on this side? Oh yeah. There's a bunch over here. Rosalina! 
Okay, so we're at... Got a whole patch of them here. Oop. Let's not die on the tutorial flying level. That would probably be good. Uh... I don't even need the flying thing, I just gotta do a backflip. It's a pretty weird angle to do stuff at, though, not gonna lie. Yeah, sometimes that angle is... Not the easiest. Uh, where are the other ones? I think there was another set of pillars like that. Oh wait, actually, hold on. It might be them. Oh! We did it! The red star. Oh, we don't get to... I forgot we can't be in a costume when we get it. Nice! So all the purple comets are going to show up now. Hungry Luma. I honestly probably don't have enough to feed him. Yeah, no way in heck. No way. He'll probably want like 1,200 or something like that. Because I think the last one I fed was a 1,000. We. Find out how much he wants. Hey you, yeah you, I taste these tablets. Oh, I called it. Twelve hundo. Got quite a ways to go there, friend. Is there anything behind here? It's gotta lead somewhere, but... Whoa. I don't remember it looking like this at all. Ooh, matter splatter. Deep dark. This has gotta be Melty Molten. Yeah, this is the one I remember. All the other ones... A little bit fuzzy on. Just a little bit. Sinking lava spire. Oh, I remember this one. Because the whole thing is just, like, collapsing on you. This music is also one of my favorites in the game. Absolutely epic.
Give me those bits. Mario's so thick, he just can crack stuff like that. Look at how sick that looks. Huh. I wonder why... That must be for, like, the purple coins. Because I remember that, but I couldn't remember what it was for. This is so damn cool. Wow. And you. Eighty. How many do I have? Sixty five. Where am I supposed to get more bits? You know, I think there's something in the actual, like, uh, volcano, from what I vaguely remember now. Like, how can you say this game is bad or, like, not one of the goats? That stuff's so dope. Get me out of here. Alright. This will be our 60th star. Hey, how's it going, Jay? Thanks for tuning in. We're just about wrapping Mario Galaxy up here. Definitely will be done probably within the next hour or so. I mean, this is our 60th star. We could hypothetically beat the game right now, but I've also only been live for like 40 minutes, so figure we can uh, enjoy a little bit more of the game while we can. I was mentioning earlier on the uh, stream how cool it is to like play the games um, shit, I gotta go fast. Um, it's really cool to, like, replay these games in order. Since that's not how I... Oh, shit. Bro. Alright, it's a good thing I had a lot of extra lives there. Bruh. All right. Oh, wait. I'm right there. Baby Luma kill streak. It's a good question. Uh, I don't think I've died too many times in this game. Definitely uh, 64 in Sunshine are quite a bit harder in this game, without a doubt. Don't think that's a uh, super hot take. Just 
Covered a new galaxy. The center of the world. Oh. And there's one over there too. Damn, I need to get a lot more, uh... Star bits. Full power. It's officially a Death Star now. Let's wait. We'll, uh... We'll at least go to, uh... Okay. We'll talk to you. Don't worry, Rosa. Um... Let's at least go through the, uh, the remaining galaxies that are in the top portion there, so that way we can say we visited all of them, technically. I do have to get... I don't remember where that last green star is, though, but... Again, I, I'm not going to 100% this game on stream. I will likely... If I do... 100% it? I mean, it's gonna be this game, it's not gonna be Sunshine or 64. That much I know. Because 100%ing those games does not sound all that fun. This game, though, it's just right. Okay, so let's see how many. How many do you want? 1400? Hey, you, yeah, you. Sixteen hundred, damn. Well, you ain't eating today, boy. That much I know. Yeah, it's just... This game works to, uh... Um... 100%. This is another one of those trippy... Worlds. Matter splatter. Going speed run on this one. Gotta go fast. I still have no idea where the green star is. Like, this game is just so. I will never get over how just utterly cool this game is. Who thinks of this? Shit. Oh. Dang. That's quick. That is a quick one. Okay, at least I can start here. can probably do a crazy like jump there or something to get up that high but I'm not gonna bank on it what I got wamboed I was trying to spin right there dude yeah I uh, I do not quite have the uh, the style and grace of any members of the DK crew even the one with the funny face He has no style. He has no grace. This Kong has a funny face. Oh, didn't mean to shoot that there. Get me out. 
Oh god, the spring suit, dude? Bruh. Where am I going? Where am I going? Man, the spring suit's so weird. Shit. Excellent. Where am I going now, though? Oh! All the bits. So many star bits. Shit. Get me up. No, dude! <laughs> Inflate yourself like a balloon. That would be... Damn, we were so far up there. And we threw it all away. Wasn't there the one, uh... I think they won the Yoshi power-ups in Galaxy 2. He turns into the big balloon. It's pretty rad. Easy. We made up for it, don't worry. We got the one up. I was trying to jump right there. Ah! Feels bad, man. Spring Mario, yeah, exactly. It's just how it goes, man. It is how it be. Somehow Spring Mario is like, you know, if Spring Mario is the worst part about Mario Galaxy, that's still pretty, pretty okay. It ain't that bad. He's just a little, uh, tipsy. Boy. I think that's actually what made Odyssey so cool, is like, the different power-ups you had with, you know, taking things over as Cappy. That was so neat, how they incorporated that. All the 3D Mario games are just godlike. Can't convince me otherwise. All the bits. It's only in one star in Galaxy 2, really? That's it? I don't remember that. I knew it was in Galaxy 2, but it's just one star? <sighs> Shit. Okay. Just gotta get there. Wake me up. Get me out. Oh, perfect. Spring Mario, I mean, it is definitely not good. Let's put it like that. How do I get up there? Can I wall jump off this? Huh. I guess I can. Doesn't look like I could. Okay. 
How do I get that one? That actually looks like a Spring Mario one. Alright. That's fine. We'll skip that for the, the time being. Uh... Shit. This is fine. Safe bet's always in the middle. Oh god. Get out of here, Kamek. Do 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 do. Easy save. I'm scared. Take me there. Oh, easy game. Yeah, that I have no idea how you're supposed to get that second uh, one up there. That one is definitely uh a mystery. I feel like you would need a Spring Mario to get that. I don't know. Not gonna worry about it. Deep Dark Galaxy. Um, what was I gonna say? It still is weird to me that they didn't include Galaxy 2 on this. Like, come on, bro. Oh, I remember this one. This is where the uh, the boss Kamek lady shows up again. Oh, why is that there? Oh, that's like the secret star. It's gotta be. I have no idea how you get there. Huh. So what's the... Am I doing the secret star first? Is that what's happening here? I think I got them all. I think they indeed all got got. We. I could have swore there's like a secret star over here that. Easy. Bruh. Right in the butt. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I thought that was like the secret star or something. I, I honestly don't remember a good portion of this world. I just remember the pirate ship fight. Is Toad just vibing there? Dude, it's, you're underwater. What are you doing? Easy. Do 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 do. Gimme. Open up the gates. 
Let me in. Let me in. Oh god. Just a smidge close there. Oh. Bloopers. F <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, so this is where... This is where that boss fight is. Bruh. Yep, she's back. Time to mess you up, fool. She's just trying to light shit on fire, bro. This is also one where... It's the comet that you have to do the, uh... One health fight for. Get me out. Get me out. Even closer quarters. Scoot Mario, scoot. Oh, my meter's trying to not get hit. By this fire shit. Where's she at? Oh! Get right! Thought you had to jump on the shell? Not sure why you would have to jump on a shell. Do 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 Oh, we just saw you on stream, Jay. Playing Pokemon. I saw the uh, new DLC came out. For the, uh... Expansion that they were doing and whatnot. That was a game I... I potentially would have enjoyed Pokemon more if I streamed it. Maybe. But... I don't know. Oh my god. Someone sent me a message saying my favorite streamer was going offline. It's true, I'm not going offline. You can watch me beat Mario Galaxy. How does that sound, Kev? And of course, uh, boys, cheers, it is Friday. Crack open a cold one. Okay, so I gotta go... Do I just jump on this thing? Oh. Whee. Key, I bet. Of course, the last one. What controller am I using? So, I'm using the Pro Controller. I did try using the Joy-Cons at first, and it did not feel that good. Not gonna lie. So, like, with the Pro Controller, this feels really good. Um, what's cool about it, too, is instead of shaking the controller to spin, you can just press the Y button, which... You wouldn't think would make a huge difference, but it actually feels amazing. Like, this game, in terms of the changes they made for the, you know, 3D All-Stars, this feels awesome, and it also just looks gorgeous. Oh, 
Motion controls? Yeah. I'm, even the motion controls, like, for doing the, uh... What's it called? You know, star bits and stuff like that. It feels fine. Um, the way they have it on right now. Yeah. This is definitely... Like, really, really nice. Oh god. Oh god. Did not realize they were all going that high. Yes, this is Galaxy 1. Yeah, this is absolutely, like, pretty hands down, like, the best one in the, uh, the games that are included on the, uh, 3D All-Stars. In my humble opinion. Oh god, I wasn't even paying attention there. Oh god, that's going fast. How did I not get hit there? Over the deadly spikes. So yeah. I was talking about it a little bit earlier on stream. Um, you know, if you've never played these games, getting the 3D All-Star Packs seems pretty worth it. Not gonna lie. Oh. Um, especially if you like Galaxy. Because the thing, like, it, it does seem pretty worth it. Like, the only game that felt kind of like, I don't know. 64 was has been released on so many consoles now. You know, it was on DS, Wii, Wii U, and now it's on this. And not, you know, besides the DS version, of course, um, there wasn't a heck of a lot that changed. Whereas Sunshine, it's like, okay, Sunshine only came out on the GameCube. This game was released on the Wii U, but... I feel like the quality of life changes they made to this game for, like, Switch, it's really rad. Where am I supposed to be going here? Yeah. It's... You definitely, without a doubt, you know what you're getting your money for. It's not like you're, you know, expecting a heck of a lot from these games, you know, they are, if it had, not gonna lie, if it had Galaxy 2, I personally think this would be, like, really value for 60 bucks. Easy. Sorry, I had to pay attention there for a second. Um, if this had Galaxy 2 on the collection, I mean, this would be a no-brainer, in my opinion. And even still, again, like, just replaying Mario Galaxy like this has been super fun. And I really like revisiting Sunshine and 64 also. I know there's a lot of people who, you know, probably are on the more, uh, butthurt side of things, which, you know, it's gonna be like that. The one thing that this game doesn't make sense about is, like, the limited release stuff. Like, if you're gonna do a limited release, like, for a physical game, sure, I- Oh my god, this is gonna be annoying. No! Whee! Um, if you're gonna do a physical release for, like, a limited thing, like, fine. Do I agree with it? I mean, not really, but it's kind of whatever. But, like, why would you do a limited digital release? Do you remember how long this pack will be out? It's gonna be out until March 31st. Oh! Ah, uh, that's bad. I was getting distracted. So I think I want to go this way. Your butt is comfortable. There are no butt hurt people in the profound chat. I wouldn't hope so, at least. Bruh. Just 
Just give me my stupid star. Easy. It is a long time, but I think, again, it's like, why would you limit it, though? But even still, so it's like, okay, the Fire Emblem thing that was released, or is going to be released, is also the same limited type thing, and it's like, why? If it's for an anniversary thing, again, like, the physical release, sure, whatever, you can have the physical release be limited. Why would you limit the digital release? It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, we did go through like all the galaxies, I think. There's just the two hungry Lumas. I don't remember where the last green star was. 969. Kinda nice, bro. Alright. Let's go talk to Rosalina. Let's beat some Mario Galaxy. It was nice of Princess Peach to invite us to her castle, Luigi. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. We. Oui. Oh yeah, another thing we can do afterwards is we can read uh, Rosalina's story. So you can see me maybe cry on stream. Princess Peach. All more one-ups? She thinks I'm bad at the game, huh? She's right, I'll take those one-ups any day of the week. Alright, let's do it. It's time. The special one. For the special one. Dude, the Rosa story, again, I'll read it. And again, I'm not... I got a couple, uh, beers in me. It's like, could be bad. This is like the one... So, like, gameplay-wise, Galaxy 2 had some really cool additions and stuff like that, but just, like, the whole concept and story in this game was so fresh and, like, different. That's why this one will always be, like, the GOAT to me. Dude. I'm a shooting star leaping through the sky like a tiger defying the laws of gravity. Go, Mario. Dude, this is so cool! That is, in fact, a Senior Celsius. It's Bowser's Castle. And I forgot how good the music is on this level. It's time. Fate of the Universe. This game's so cool! How is this not the GOAT? Just every time I hear this song and like everything about this is just the coolest shit ever. Pretty fast here, boys. Gravity spotlights. Yeah, why the hell not?
Oh. When it's so cold it hurts. Don't touch the sand, lads. No shortage of fire. Pretty much anywhere. Give me them bits, boy. Oh my god, I told- Okay, admittedly, I did forget about this part. It's coming back to me now, though. What? Oh, you have to go fast? Shit! Alright, that part I didn't remember. <laughs> I didn't remember you have to go fast. Shit! I was trying to... Going on to the side there. Luckily, I'm getting these one ups. It wouldn't be a, a proper profound stream if I uh, got a first try anyway, so. Fuck! Or the third try. I'm gonna ignore it now. I feel like we can just go fast. Bruh. Bruh. Get me out. Why? Why do that? Oh, I think this is it. Really close, at least. Hit this. I need a coin. The biggest womps. Oh god. Oh shit! Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Wait, there's no coin. I thought I could jump on it. What an amateur. Talk about jukes! Never seen jukes like these. Oh! Never seen jukes like these! Get me out! Get me out, boy! Yeah, that's why. It's like, it's not consistent. I thought you could totally jump on those guys. <laughs> Dude, like, when did Bowser Jr. get heckin' large? Dude. Definitely gonna get that, uh... Definitely need that. It's time, boys. He is, I mean, but yeah, but like, in Sunshine, he was not that large. Bowser, your galaxy looks kind of shitty. It's been years. You're not wrong, I suppose. Oh, God. Okay, how many phases are there to this fight? I can't remember. Wait, there's no...
Oh, just barely caught him there. All right, there's probably more faces of this than I can remember, honestly. Yeah, exactly, dude. He is the boulder. The boulder is ready. Ow, I'm dumb. So do I have to hit him? Oh, I do. Okay, I'm learning. Remembering, rather. Give me the bits. I wonder if I can hit him while he's doing this. Oh! Pretty close. ones here. I just gotta wait. Oh, shit. I thought I had him there. Dude, this music. No Bowser theme that comes close to this shit, dude. It's actually insane. Shit. Okay, gotta lead him a little bit closer here. Oh, damn, okay. I was. I only. I missed my opportunity there. That's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna chill out over here, because I think he'll be able to. Shit. Jump right here. Okay. I think we got it. It's when he gets so fast, it's gonna be hard to predict. Oh! That was it? Dude. He just dies. This ain't Sunshine or uh, Odyssey where, you know, Bowser has a, a life and a future after this? Dude. If he's fine, he's fine like uh, Darth Vader's fine, you know? Nothing a little, uh... Lava's okay. We did it! Galaxy! Super Mario Galaxy! We. We're just zooming. Get her! This shit's so good! Like... This makes me way too happy. But then the whole thing... Yeah, it starts exploding and shit, bro. Bowser's galaxies in shambles. And then the Luma waves. Oh wait, he is fine. Dude. He looks so sad, dude. This is like... <laughs> this is so dramatic.
Dude. Bowser just gets incinerated on his own Mustafar. Like, what the hell? He actually, like, yeah. Oh my god. gotta do that dude why are they jumping in the black hole man this is the big bang as depicted by Mario it really is like There's a lot going on here for a Mario game. Can we get some baby rages in the chat, please? <laughs> I love Mario's expression. He's... He's got that look like he's listening. He just has no idea what the hell you're talking about. Thank you. Why does Rosalina have to be cool in every single game except Smash? It's a mystery to me. It's the Mushroom Kingdom! Where's Peach? Yay, no Bowser. Oh, there he is, wait a minute. Oh, there's Bow Jow. The giant bee. Oh. Even all of Pog you. Welcome. Welcome, New Galaxy. New Galaxy. This game will give me goosebumps like every time. Truly, the goat. Miyamoto, how do you do it every time? How is it possible? And Bowser is indeed fine. He survived his uh, Mustafar black hole explosion. And he's doing just fine. Okay, so I think, uh, one sec.
I think uh, in order, Galaxy 2 is better gameplay. Yeah, oh, without a doubt, Galaxy 2, again, the stuff in Galaxy 2 that they introduce and just the worlds and stuff there, super good. It is it is a more polished version of this game, but again, this one is so fresh and cool and the story, you know, Galaxy 2 had a decent, like, you know, little story going on there, but this was just so amazing. And Galaxy 2 is amazing as well. Um, I think we will conclude our Galaxy playthrough. I think we will have to, uh, I don't know if I have all the chapters in Rosalina's story. I don't know if you need a certain number of stars to do it. But uh, we will do that once our credits wrap up here. As I mentioned uh, earlier, you know, playing these games one after another kind of makes me appreciate them all in different ways because they are all so different not just in like world building but gameplay and feel wise um charles martin at the go I might 100% this game in my free time. We will see. Yuri Adachi, what are you doing, Adachi? Um, I'll talk a little bit more about what I'm planning on doing next once we actually finish Rosalina's story. Because... I actually did a count today off the off of memory so it's possible I could be wrong Mario Galaxy this one here this will be the 15th playthrough I've completed on stream it's kind of crazy I was thinking about it I was like okay do I count Mario 3d all-stars as one game or three and it's like well I, it would probably be three so, this is the 15th full playthrough that I've recorded on stream. And I was trying to remember what the first one was. Like, was Undertale my first actual playthrough on stream? Because I think before that I was probably either playing Shadowverse or, like, just Smash. The end. Thank you so much for playing my game. Thank you so much for playing my game. You're welcome, Mario. New chapter's been added. Purple Comets, baby. Purple Comets. All right. Let's take a look at Rosalina's story. my feet another world does show something about my character what do you got toad peach why isn't she here do 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 she is so thoughtful she should just be on, like, the garage or something. Alright, so I think it's in... Oh, wait, it's here. I don't know if I'm ready, guys. I'm gonna be, like, sad. Let's begin. I don't know if I want to be sad, guys. Do we have to... Do we want a narration? Is that what we want here? How do we want to do this? 
I'm gonna close the door for a second. <clears throat> I am gonna be sad. I don't know if I'll like it, but <laughs> I'll be sad if I uh, read this. Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small star child. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turned into days and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. Finally, the little girl sighed and said to Luma, if we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? The girl and Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship, and then the two set sail into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the celestial mother began. Star bits. Days passed with no sight of the comet or even a single planet. Instead, asteroids extended for as far as the eye could see. If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the rumble in her belly. Before they left, she had packed all the essentials. Telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot-flavored tea. But... I forgot to bring water. At this, Luma burst into gales of laughter and gave the girl... And the girl began to pout. As long as I have star bits, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? The little girl couldn't stay mad after hearing this. Luma continued to laugh and the girl couldn't help but join in. All right, maybe just a nibble. Leaning far out of the ship, the pair began to collect star bits with the girl's net. They almost fell out of a few times, but they kept on collecting. The star bits tasted like honey. Chapter 3 The Comet A beam of light pierced through the ship's window. Thinking it was the morning sun, the girl peered through the window only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleeping Luma awake and shouted excitedly, We have to get that comet. The pair descended on the comet and found that it was made of ice. They looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look! Peering down at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty, said Luma, beaming. There's ice here, but it's so warm. I'll bet there's water here, too. The two decided to stay on the comet for a while. Riding the turquoise comet 
the pair continued their search for Luma's mother. Chapter 4 The Dream One night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? she asked. Uh, she asked her mother's retreating back. Without turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'll always... I'm always watching over you, like the sun in the day and the moon in the night. A wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or the moon? Her mother thought for a moment before responding. I will turn into a star in the clouds and wait for your tears to dry. When she awoke, the girl's face was damp with tears. You have star bits in your eyes, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not star bits. I'm crying because I'll never see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry too. Mama, oh mama, why? The pair traveled through the starry skies, and th though they encountered many other comets, not one of them held Luma's mother. Luma was despondent. Now, now, Luma, the rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying, the girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop. The girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words... She felt a small spark in her heart. Chapter 5 Home The kitchen will go here and the library will go over there, the girl said busily to herself. We'll put the gate here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work but it's worth it to make a happy home. It turned out that star bits weren't the only things buried in the ice. There were tools and furniture unlike they had ever seen, and the girl used them to build a home. Looking at the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? With a library, bedroom, kitchen, fountain, and gate, it was certainly spacious. But still, something seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said wistfully. Indeed, the house was too large for its two small residents. That night, clutching her favorite stuffed bunny close to her heart, the girl fell asleep in the starship. Friends, Then one day, while the girl sat sipping tea, a tiny apricot-colored planet appeared on the horizon. From the planet, another Luma of the same color emerged. Do you two know each other? The girl asked the two Lumas gleefully. Despite the girl's excitement, they seemed uneasy. The two Lumas neither drew closer nor backed away from each other. Instead, they just stared. Then, one Luma broke the silence. My mama! At once, the apricot Luma parroted back, My mama, my mama! My mama, my mama! The two Lumas began to dance around the girl frantically, and neither showed a sign of stopping. The girl was so charmed by this adorable scene that she couldn't help but laugh. And that's what hap That's when something very strange happened. Suddenly, more Lumas began to pop out from the apricot planet. They were different colors, but they all shouted the same thing. My mama, my mama. The sight of all the shouting Lumas only made the girl laugh harder. 
What am I going to do with all these children? The Lumas just stared blankly as she doubled over laughing. I guess we'll have to name each and every one of you. Tomorrow, once she had finished naming them all, she would begin moving all the Lumas into the new house. The Telescope. After seeing their 100th comet, a sudden thought popped into the girl's head. I wonder if my home planet is still as blue as it was. That's when she remembered her father's telescope. Peeking into the telescope, a tiny blue dot floated into sight. It was smaller than a star bit. How strange. It's so far away, but it feels so close. She twisted the knob of the telescope, and the blue dot grew until she could make out a grassy hill dotted with flowers. It seemed very familiar to her. Zooming in even closer, a terrace on the hill came into view. I used to go stargazing there when I lived on my home planet. She remembered rubbing the sleep out of her eyes as she followed her father up that hill to look at the stars. She remembered how she and her brother would sled down that hill. She remembered having picnics with her mother on that hill on bright and windy days. And... I want to go home. I want to go home right now. The girl burst into tears and the Lumas didn't know what to do. I want to go home. I want to go back to my house by the hill. I want to see my mother. The girl was shouting now, her face wet with tears. But I know she's not there. I knew all along that because she wasn't out there in the sky. Because... Because... She's sleeping under the tree on that hill. The girl's cries echoed through the stars, and a hush fell over the area. The story's so sad, dude. The wish. Though usually quite cheery, one day the girl became sad again. Luma drew cro close and tried to comfort her. Mama, you still have me. And don't be sad about your mama because she's a part of you. That means she's always close by. It's like me. I love star bits because they remind me of my mama. No, no, the girl said, unable to stop the tears. A lonely look flickered across Luma's face, but it was soon replaced by a wide grin. I have an idea. I will transform into a comet. A soaring comet that can carry you all the can carry you all on this journey. With that Luma trailing bands of white soared high into the sky and just as quickly started to plummet back down. Kaboom kablam! The ground shook and a bright light poured out of the crater that the Luma had created. The bands of light twisted together to form a comet tail. And then Luma emerged, reborn as a comet. The girl scarcely believe her eyes. But how? She kept asking. Our destiny as Lumas is to transform into different things, said a red Luma who had suddenly appeared. Stars, comets, planets. We can become all of these things. When I grow up, I want to become a star that makes someone special smile, said a green Luma. A blue Luma chimed in. That Luma turned into a real cutie of a comet, didn't he? All of the Lumas together said, No more crying, Mama. Thank you, said the girl in a whisper, and she pulled the Lumas close and hugged them. From that day on, star bits no longer fell from the girl's eyes. The comet set forth for the girl's home planet, 
its long tail blazing proudly behind it. Final chapter. With its many lumas and telescopes, the comet was quite a sight to behold. The girl and the lumas were proud to call it home. At a welcoming party for a new luma, the girl gathered everyone in the kitchen and said in a louder voice than usual, All right, everyone, let's make a cake, a cake sprinkled with starbits, and then it will be a star cake. The lumas excitedly began to gather the ingredients. She watched the lumas scurry about. The girl smiled and thought to herself, this is my family now, and I will stay with them until they're ready to leave the nest. And when they do leave, I'll see them off with a smile. Because that's what makes a mother happiest. That night when the girl lay down to sleep, a soft light enveloped her and reminded her of a blue planet she once called home. But it would be nice to return home every once every hundred years to nap in my favorite sleeping nook. The comet carrying the lumas on the girl continues on its journey to this very day. With more family members in tow than can be counted, it's said that the comet visits the girl's home planet once every hundred years, its proud white tail glittering in the sky. That's such a good story, dude. Oh, poor Rosalina. Man. Poor Rosalina. Like... You would never expect something like that in a Mario game, but the mad lads did it. Absolutely amazing stuff. But that is going to do it. That will be not only the conclusion of Mario Galaxy, but Mario 3D All-Stars. So, that begs the question, uh, what will be going on next? <laughs> the Mad Lads did it with Miyamoto, exactly. Um, so what's going to be next is the question. Um, as I mentioned, I have a... You know me, I kind of like to keep my games a, uh, a surprise initially. And then we can uh, kind of go from there. But I am planning on starting a game probably early November, like the first week in November. I think that's a good starting point. I'll take a week break, likely uh, coming up, just because we did Mario Galaxy this entire week. Um, so I'll do a break. I'll do probably random games like either Smash or Among Us, something like that, this upcoming week. And then we'll start another playthrough. Um... I think it'll be a nice uh, callback to people who've been around the channel for a while, and I know quite a few friends who will probably enjoy this game that I'm planning to stream upcoming, so definitely keep your eyes and ears open for that one. Should definitely be cool. Um, but yeah, that's gonna probably start... Let's see. I'm just looking at my calendar right now. Maybe November 1st? November 1st, maybe the 2nd, something like that, we'll probably start a new playthrough. Um, and this one, I might have mentioned this already, might not have. Um, I think it'll probably last maybe through the end of 2020. It's going to be closer to the uh, time frame, time sync of uh, Xenoblade. It's similar to that, so I think, uh, you know, it'll be a bit of a dedication to watch through the whole way, but I think it'll be cool too. Um, it's definitely been a nice change of pace playing these shorter games like the 
3D Mario games here, of course, but um, yeah, we'll see how things go and shape up. Let's, I think Molly should be streaming, so let's do this. Whoop. Thank you again to everyone who tuned in to not just Mario Galaxy, but the Mario 3D All-Stars playthroughs. Really appreciate it. Hopefully you all enjoyed watching. Um, definitely uh, we'll have the VOD up on YouTube, of course. You can find the link down below. You know, usual. Got the Twitter, Discord, all that stuff. Helps let you know when I'm live streaming stuff, since I don't exactly have a set schedule. But um, we're going to go raid Molly, since she is streaming Among Us, I believe. Let's see um we're gonna go raid molly and then uh definitely be nice in there of course but uh thank you again to everyone for tuning in enjoy your friday night i might be live maybe like this upcoming sunday maybe with like smash or among us something like that i don't know uh I'll keep you guys posted of course but until then have a wonderful night we'll see y'all next time